So, you want to know how to rotate? Well, just turn your head 90 degrees and you've done it. Hey guys, welcome back to Tets by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again in Blender 2.82. But, guess what? We're looking at how to rotate things, my friends. How to rotate objects. And this will work in any version of Blender. I'm sure they're not going to change this anytime soon. It's always been the same. Um, and this is going to sound pretty simple to many of you guys on the channel here. Um, but a lot of people ask me how to rotate things, how to move things, and it is very, you need to know this kind of stuff when you're first starting out in Blender. Um, and maybe I'll say something you don't know, I don't know, we never know. So, uh, first things first, if you want to know how to rotate an object, go over here into the big uh, viewport space, and then just hit R. If you hit R, you can see you can rotate something, but it only rotates according to where your camera is positioned. So if I right click, you can cancel this movement so you can get off of this. So right click, I can move my cursor regularly now. If I hit if I hit and hold the middle mouse button, the middle mouse button down and move it over here, and hit R, you can see now it rotates according to where the camera is positioned over here. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want to rotate it perfectly on the X axis, which is this this red line. I can hit R X and then it only rotates like this on the the X axis. Maybe I want to do it on the green line, which is the Y axis. I will go R and then Y on my keyboard, and then just rotate in this way, you know? Maybe I want to do it on the Z axis, which is up and down, R, Z, and you can see now you can rotate it all three different directions. Now, those are pretty basic. Another thing you can do, which I do all the time, uh, for more freeform rotation is double tapping the R key, so R, then R again, you see your cursor turns into that little, that little icon, now you can rotate it like this. So it rotates no matter where you are, it just rotates like a thing in space, like Few, 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 look at that, um, neat, now if you want to of course confirm that rotation, you would rotate then left click to confirm, so then it would stay where you put it, and then that's all good, now, control Z to undo that of course, you can also do rotation by going over here to the right hand side panel and changing these rotate values, you can do something very specific like negative 45 degrees, now it's exactly 45 degrees uh, on the X axis, you can do the Y axis, 45 degrees, you can see you can get exact perfect values here. So this is 45, uh, 40, 45, 45, and 45 on all these uh, values here. It looks like this, which looks pretty askew, actually. Um, but yeah, that's another way you can do it. Uh, really cool stuff. Put them all back to zero. Something else you can do is what I do all the time. In pretty much every single one of my videos, you will hear me say this phrase. RX90 on your numpad. And pretty much what that means is you can hit the R key. Then you hit the X key. Then you, over on your numpad, which is on the right-hand side of your keyboard, obviously, with all the numbers and stuff where it says your numpad and plus and whatever, y your keyboard might be different if you're on a Mac or if you're on a weird keyboard, but there should pretty much on the right-hand side of your keyboard be a bunch of numbers, <laughs> like a dial on a phone in old school. Nobody knows that anymore. I can't even say that anymore. Okay, well, if you're old enough to know, then it's like a dial on a, on a payphone. <laughs> Everyone's like, what's that? <laughs> um, anyway, there's a bunch of numbers and whatever. If you hit 90, so... Uh, nine zero. You can see it rotates ninety degrees, but it rotated nine degrees. We can't tell because that's perfect. So if I hit R X forty five, you can see enter to confirm that. Now you can see it's rotated uh, ninety degree forty five degrees. Sorry, on the X axis. Same thing. R Y, and then on my keypad, on my keypad, <laughs> on my numpad, forty five uh, again. Left click to confirm or enter to confirm. Either way, um, you can see you can rotate things like that as well. Super cool stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Now, if you also, you can see down here on the bottom, if I hit R and then uh, click to confirm that, you can see there's this little rotate thing that's come up over here. And it tells me what angle I just rotated that at. So I rotated it at a super random thing, which is negative 63.8. Um, and you can see it's telling me the radians and the angle and whatever else. We don't really need to know all that. But you can see I can just change this by hitting this little box down here too, which is nice. And I can also change the axis. So I can change it from Z to X. And then I can rotate on the X axis. Uh, all the way up to 360 and down to 360 negative, which is really cool. Um, I can do the uh, the the y axis uh, the, the the y axis. <laughs> I'm not accessing something anyway. Axis. I can do z axis. Really cool uh, stuff. And you can also change the orientation. But the last thing I want to really talk about is something quite important. So let me go ahead and just uh, talk about it real quick. Now, if you go up here to the magnet tool, you can see you can hit on magnet. So if I hit G, you can see now there's a little kind of grid moving instead of 
like this G once again to move objects, but that's not what this tutorial is about. Um, if I have that on, you can see maybe I, maybe I want to rotate something on an angle, but I want I want to snap. So I want my rotation to snap. So if I hit R, you can see it's not snapping, even though I have magnet on. Why? If we hit this little button and then go down to effect, you can see only move is selected right now. So if we select move and rotate, you can now see if I hit R that it will indeed move in intervals. And uh, now it's snapping on uh, rotation, which is really, really nice. You can see we have some really nice uh, stuff there. So that's R, R, Y, and then we can just snap it in intervals. Super cool. So, and that's pretty much going to conclude this video about rotation. I pretty much covered everything you're pretty much going to need to know. There's not too much. The only thing I didn't uh, touch on was keyframes, but you can insert a rotation keyframe by um, hitting I to insert a rotation keyframe. Then going to a frame down here, just dragging your cursor to, say, frame 50, and then double tapping R, or rotating however you want, and then hitting I, rotation once again. And now you can see when we play this, the cube will now rotate to the two keyframes that we inserted. Inserted? Wow, that was really weird. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for today's tutorial. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one, but until then.